Matthew, is it Omlungu? Any uh, booty stories from camp? Um, funny enough, they, you know, when, generally with the white and the, the color guys, um, they don't really force it down your throat. So <laughs> they'll, they'll, our guy, the booty guy from, you know, at Sundance would, would rather rub it on our jerseys, you know, uh, before we get into the changing room. So you, you'll come into the changing room and you'll smell something funny. You'll look at your jersey and it's, it's lost its shine, you know, it's lost the, the color. And as you get closer, you'll notice, you know, like some some strange things on it. And uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be forced to wear it. You can't really complain. Uh, ultimately, it's the culture of the team. And so it's something that we, we, we did. In fact, one of the other stories uh, involved under 23s, I think, um, was it before Brazil or one of our qualifying games? I think all of a sudden they decided to bath. Yeah, which game was that, Steve? I think it is the game uh, before the Brazil. Uh, okay, uh, Japan. Yeah. So there we are in Australia. In Australia. Now, I don't, anybody who's traveled to Australia, uh, you, you have to dust off your boots. You're not allowed to bring uh, grass from South Africa into um, into Australia. So we, we packed our, our boots without knowing this. And when we get to Australia, the customs guys look at our boots and see all this dust and mud and, and grass. So we've got to go clean our boots. But then comes our booty guy with his bag of herbs. <laughs> and uh, the, probably the biggest fight I've ever seen in my life with this guy trying to get through to Australia and this is the stuff that we were meant to bath with before before our first game. That's probably why we lost against Japan in the open game. <laughs>